Hi, this is Samantha with Heat Transfer Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you how to design an, an image with iDesigner Pro 2 Rhinestone software. First, what you're going to want to do is bring up your software. After you bring up your software, you're going to want to go over to this A text box, click on it, and then you're going to want to go to the first A, which is for Text Compose. Click on it, and now you can start writing your text. We're just going to use the word joy. After the text box appears, um, you can highlight it to change your text. From here, you can either go up to the F or over to this little arrow right here. Either one will change your text. What you're going to do is you're going to find your fonts and you're going to scroll through them. You can see right here that your font will change as you just scroll through it. And you can pick whatever font that you would like. Once you find one, what you're going to do is double click on it and your text will change. So now you can click off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make our image just a little bit larger. And we're going to convert this text into rhinestones. First thing you want to do is make sure your text is selected. And then you're going to go up to the transform bar up here, go to rhinestone, and then go to rhinestone fill. Here you're going to be able to check if you want outline or if you want fill. If you want outline design, leave that box checked and uncheck fill. If you want fill, do the opposite. I want an outline, so I'm going to check outline and I'm going to go to select elements. Here's where you're going to be able to choose the type of stones that you want. Um, up here in the element category, there are two different types you can choose from. We are going to choose the size SS10. So you just click on it, you click add, and then you click OK. It has now changed my image to rhinestones around the word. Now I've just zoomed in on my design. Um, you can see that there are places where we're missing rhinestones. There's places where there's rhinestones out of place. So what you can do is just select your whole image and you're going to right click and go to ungroup. This is going to ungroup all of your rhinestones. From here, you can click on the rhinestones that you want removed or that you want um, move to different places like this one up here we're just going to move down a little bit and then to add rhinestones what you're going to do is you're going to go to transform rhinestone and then rhinestone drop you're going to choose the size of rhinestones you want again we're going to stay with the SS10s and we're going to add them click OK and now you can just drop rhinestones wherever you want them to be placed With every rhinestone you want to add, you're going to have to do the rhinestone drop. And then once again, you can move them. You don't want your rhinestones to be touching, otherwise when you cut the template block, it's going to just cut one big circle. So just make sure that they are not touching. Now I'm ready to cut my design. What I'm going to do is go up to cut. Make sure that the only output rhinestones is checked. By having that checked, you are only going to cut the rhinestone design and not the black in between. Next, what you're going to do is select your whole image. Go up to cut again and go to plot. Click OK. It is going to bring up your image down here in the cut screen. You can now rotate your image if you want. We're just going to rotate it. Uh, there's many different things. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, um, or you can just plain cut. From here, now that we have our cutter set, we're going to cut our rhinestone design, so we're going to click cut. Now that we all have our, the holes all cleared, we're going to stick it onto our template board. And this is where we're going to take our rhinestones and you're just going to dump them on to the template board. And from here what we're going to do is we're going to take our rhinestone brush and we're going to brush in our rhinestones into the holes that we had created in our template block. You can see all of them trying, starting to fill in. There will be some that do not fill in gem side up. That's where we're going to use our tweezers to fix those. 
Once you have most of your holes covered, if all your holes covered, you just brush away the excess rhinestones. You can just push them to the edge of your template board. Okay, now we have our whole design finished. All the gems are up. So what we're gonna do is take, um, it's a transfer rhinestone mask. This is actually KTM rhinestone transfer mask. Peel the mask back. Place it on your image. Press down with your fingers just to make sure that the gems all stick to the rhinestone mask. Then you're just going to peel the mask back. And the final step is going to be actually heat pressing your image onto your shirt. We have our shirt on our heat press. Our heat press is set at 305 and we're going to be pressing it for 15 seconds. You just take that transfer mask that you had, place it on your shirt, and press. And you wait for it to cool just a little bit. And then what you're going to do is just peel back your transfer mask. And there we have our rhinestone design.